I am back and we about to get on some domination on the map noir and you know what that means that means black we on the black map now look somebody left in the last comment it looks like you're having more fun with IW I gotta admit I've been going in and I've been having fun I'm not saying this DLC is the best this DLC I give it a C minus but one thing that definitely changed the game my net Duma. I didn't have the net Duma hooked up I don't know if you guys remember, sometimes during Black Ops 3, I unhooked it because I was having so many problems getting in lobbies with friends. And it wouldn't let me get games on Ghost no matter what settings I did, did. So I took it off. Now, I'm having the same problem here. I was trying to play with my boy Arm Locks. We couldn't even get in the game together. But you know what? When I'm playing the game, it's lag free. So if you guys notice, I've been using a silencer on my gun because it's deadly now. Now I know what some of you guys have been going through. Why some of you guys have been enjoying the game. It's a whole nother game when the hit detection is good. But I'm going to tell you, it sucks that I got to have my Net Duma hooked up for it. But it is what it is. I got the Net Duma hooked up and we about to go in. And I wanted to show you guys this gameplay. Not going to be my best gameplay. And you know, some kind of moving around. I'm, I'm going to be creeping. I'm going to be camping. I'm going to be rushing. I have to look. I knew this guy was coming. I wasn't sure if he was following me and he got laid down. That's the one thing about this game. I'm about to have some dumb, dumb deaths. Now, if you guys didn't notice when I first started this map, I want to see they got tents. Yes, this map is made for campers. They got tents back here. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you really want to camp this, and I'm probably going to show a video of me camping this hard. This video, I'm going to be semi-camping. You know, the professor at camp, I like to show the techniques. C is the easiest flag in the world to hold down because you can hit them from up here like that. Lay them down. You can even get on the ground. And hit them. Sometimes I sit in this door here. Because they usually get on C and they don't run to me. And then I jump down here and I kill them. Like I sit right here. And I wait for them. Now my C4 placement isn't that good. It should have been a little further out. And I just got to watch my back. Once again, mini map awareness. Knowing where they're at on the mini map. Look, see? My C4 wasn't in a great place. Oh, that's not even a body. But he got laid down. Now, sometimes when you kill too many people on the flag, it kind of alerts them. And then they kind of get slick. And see, I tried to get right here. Now, this is me trying to be a smart aleck. I'm like, I'm going to get that guy come around the corner. Look at this guy. What was he doing? Look, I laid him down and got hit by the trip mine. That's what I'm talking about. This is two dumb deaths. I had a guy chasing me. I thought he was going to the other floor. Had a stupid guy thinking he was going to sneak me and um, stab me. Instead, a stupid trip mine got me. His stupid. Who puts a trip mine behind him like that? It's like the guy was camping on me camping. But it's all good. I'm going to get into a rhythm in a minute. But you guys, this map is great for camping. All the DLC is there's a lot of um great um what well, no, there's a lot of great ah another stupid death there's a lot of great hiding spots a lot of great line of sights too see that's the thing like when you get on C you got a lot of great sights of course people can flank around but I'm gonna tell you when you play a game like domination you tend to know the tendencies of the other guys just by the flow of the game now don't get me wrong every now and then you get on a um a, a party with like a six man team and look see well oh got him. Ooh, look at the Market J skills, baby. I haven't dropped his name in a while. I thought I'd drop it for you. Got that double bubble. But like I was saying, sometimes you get in games and you get these teammates and it's like six. And they're not going after the flags. They rush into the spawns and they take you off. But we're going to talk about the average player, the average game. In most games, it's no problem controlling the game. It's no problem at all. I'm going against the spawn. I'm looking where my teammates are on the mini map. I'm going to say probably 80 to 90% of the games will play like this. Look, I'm running solo bolo. I'm not going with no team. Now, if you get in the lobby and you recognize as a team, maybe you want to tap out. I'm not saying being no quitter because sometimes I get in with a team just to murder. Them. Like, they may win the game because they're greasy and they're jumping on the flags, but I love when they win and they, they top person is like 12 and 32. I get a little moral victory in that because sometimes you're just not going to beat a team where everybody's constantly rushing the flag. It happens. But... These are the tips and tricks to beat the average game. The average to a slightly above average player. Now, I'm going to tell you, MLG professionals, you got to probably team up and go against them. But how often do you run into some MLGs? You get some sweaties usually during double XP or on the weekend. But if you jump on in a regular time during the week, this is what a typical game look like. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They think I'm sitting out here playing games, trying to get my best game. See, I thought I heard somebody. Where is this guy at? Where is he at? And look, this I'm starting to get pissed at this point. How many times are they going to lay me down? And where was my teammates? My teammates weren't even coming to help. And look at this. They starting to... Okay. Okay, that, now that's just ridiculous. I think this is the most I've died in a minute. But like I said, we're going to get into a rhythm. At this point, I'm getting a little frustrated with my teammates. Like, come on, y'all, give me a little help. If I jump on C, 
at least come towards E or get B. But you know what happens? When my teammates don't want to help me. You know what? I take I take matters into my own hand. You know what? Forget these guys. If I have to go ahead and put in work, look, I got him with that C4 sandwich. I finally got some. Look at that phase shift on him. Look at this guy. Where are you going? And look, I'll catch the flag by myself. They don't want to help me. It's okay. Look, I see the guy coming here. He was coming. To look, oh, mini map. Mini map awareness. Up, 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 up. Ooh, get laid down. I got a big assist on that. Look, that was 175 points because I was shooting him on the flag. See, if I got to do it myself, I got to do it myself. And where's that guy going? Get laid down. Look, I'm going to collect these assist points. If I can't kill him, I at least want to hit him. Where's that guy going? How much time do we have? Look, I'm going to take them all. Be like I said, one man army. Oh, uh, get laid down. Look, them reflexes are quick. Now, I don't have the best headshot reflexes, but I will lay them down in their gut. Now, look at this. We're down 100 to 93. I done died five times. I, I'm, I'm a little ticked off. And it was five dumb deaths. But you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to play smart. What I do is I adapt. I look at the way the team was playing. And I realized I should push the tempo. This is one of them times where I'm going to come out the camp because I can. Sometimes I camp hard because they're coming to me. I'm cheese. The mice are coming. And guess what? I'm a trap. I'm laying them down. But I noticed these guys weren't too good. When I was rushing, I was out shooting them. So you know what? This I'm going to push the tempo a little faster the second half. You know what? I go from camp mode to rush mode to camp mode. I do what it takes to to adjust to the game. And look at this. I thought I was going through a window and I missed. Look, I, can I go through here? No. <laughs> the story is closed. Look at this. He killed my teammate. Where is he at? Oh, there you go. Is there another guy? I panicked. I got out of there. I wasn't sure if another guy was there. But I want to kind of go ahead and push up on B. And look, this is just instinct. I got a teammate kind of touched on B, but he didn't take it. I got a feeling the guy's going to come this way. Look, I'm still looking, looking. Look, there you go. Get laid down. He wasn't even looking at me. And like that, I got a warden. It's a whole new ball game now, baby. I got that sentry gun. I got that warden. Let me go ahead and call the little night night machine in and go ahead and lay him down. Now, I don't really know the best place to put the sentry gun, but I know it can guard this middle. A lot of times they like to come up these steps, so I'm going to put it there. I guess a shock sentry. I'm still calling it a sentry gun. Same thing. So, look, now I'm going to come around this corner, and I'm going to try to work my way over there. Now, I'm just making sure nobody's spawning over here before I go anywhere because my teammates are collecting C. With them taking C, I wanted to see if they would come over here to A. So I'm being a little patient and I'm sitting back here because I just want to see where the spawn's going to go. Now, if they jump back on C, I'm going to go ahead and work my way around. See, they jump back on C, so they're not spawning here. And look look where my teammates are. They're all on A. So I'm going to come over here and try to work this. And look, I got that Thor. Man, I am the king of Thor. I don't know how many Thors I've dropped, but man, I get Thors like people get UAVs. Look at that guy up there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill back and I'm going to go ahead and guard this lane at this point. Like I said, I pushed the tempo, but look, they don't have B. I have a C4 sandwich on A. I got a warden up, and I'm just making sure no one comes this way. And then I'm going to push the flag when I have to. And look, see how my warden's going in? It's laying bodies down. So it's no need for me to call my Thor out. So right now, I'm just being patient. Like I said, I'm guarding this lane, and I'm going to push up. Look, I went ahead and put that on just in case there's that guy trying to knife me. I wanted to make sure he wasn't hiding in here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and flank back here. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and push him over to the A. Look, they're taking B, but I'd rather them get A. So I'm not going to jump on C because I'm going to wait for my teammates. In the meantime, let me see if I can get in a bush and drop this Thor on them because I don't want them to come back. Look, we're only up 20 points. And so I'm going to sit here and terrorize them. And that's what this Thor can do. Because I know the warden laid them down, that tells me two things. One, nobody has a missile launcher. Two, they don't have on blind eye. See, that's what I'm talking about about plant instincts. Look at that. I'm just paying attention to the game. Being that the warden was effective, it didn't get shot down. Guess what? This is going to be even more effective. Now, if my warden was up for like, say, two seconds, a minute and got shot down, I know this door is going to get laid down. So on the next time around, I'm going to call them both out at the same time. So while they're trying to shoot my um warden down, I'm going to lay him down. Look at this door. This door is going in. All I'm doing is threading the needle now. Like this map is noir. It is black, and I can't really see the buildings too good. Maybe I'm colorblind, or maybe it's just bad settings. But it's dark, but I know how to thread some needles. I see any opening. Look, where's this guy at? Get laid down. Like I said, maybe I should call myself a seamstress. Because <laughs> I'm nasty at threading the needle. These guys try to hide. Look, you can't hide inside because I can thread it inside. Look, double bubble. Get laid down. And look, now my teammates are able to take really good control. Look, I, I didn't know where I was at for a minute. So now I'm going to chill back. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. That would have been nasty if he had spawned in front of me. So at this point... I'm going to chill back. Look at this lead. We got a nice, decent lead. I want to see where the spawn's going to go. I have no clue where these guys are going to be at right now. My teammates are kind of all over the map. Look, one just spawned over there to my right. 
Look, A, B, and C. So this is going to be a victory. And look, ugh, rock, paper, scissors. Ah, rock. I still have not got anyone to play with me. Ah, peace. Oh, the scissors. <laughs> so look, now I'm going to push up. Let me see if I'm going to get A. This game's pretty much over. Look, it's 191 to 135. I didn't have a flawless first half, but guess what? I'm flawless on this second half. <laughs> That's for them guys murdering that five dumb murders. This probably would have been a great gameplay if I didn't die. Uh-oh, look, phase shift. I don't know where he's going to be. Let's get in this corner. I can hear him walking. Look, I love this. I can hear him. Look, where are you going? Ring around a rosy pocket full of coal. Ashes, ashes. We all fall down, get murdered. <laughs> That was a fun gameplay. I wanted to go ahead and share this, guys, with you. Kind of give you my little thought process I go through there. Now, I can camp this hard. This was a little more mobile camping. But check out some of the spots and some of the angles I hit. And go ahead and lay down some turds. Look at that. After dying a bunch of times the first half, I went flawless. Dropped like a 35 bomb on them. All right, you guys. I am out. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub. If you old, you know what to do. Drop that like.